This is Petromac. These products are made in Germany and they are just lovely. I mean, this is, I'm gonna have to step back to get the whole view here, but you can see how huge this pan is. Now, I did get the, the largest pan size. I believe this is a 30 inch pan. And I did that actually for a specific reason because I do have a family of four and my cast iron pan is quite a bit smaller and I have a hard time cooking in, a, in that size pan. So instead of getting the same type of pan but just larger, I decided to go for something different. Now you can see here, hopefully you can see here, you can see all of this really cool pattern design on the pan itself. This is probably about as heavy as my small cast iron pan, even though this is a bigger one. And one of the reasons is this is actually a thinner, it's a thinner metal pan. Uh, the cast iron is usually quite a bit thicker. Um, this is thinner and it also comes in, basically it's designed in two pieces. You have the metal handle and then you can see that there's a spot weld right here between those uh, two pieces, between the pan and the handle. Whereas the cast iron, uh, is that metal is poured into a mold, so the piece, the handle, and everything is just one piece. These two pieces are soldered together, so that's why you have that difference. Now, I do want to mention that I am not sponsored by Petromax in any way, shape, or form. This purchase was my own. A couple of things that I like about this pan in particular, number one uh, is its size. For a family of four, I think this is gonna be a great little pan. The other thing that I really like about this is the handle itself. Now, cast iron pans typically have a really short knobby uh, type of handle, and it's great for one hand, that's fine, no problem. But when you have, uh, at least what I found is when you have a lot of food in the pan and you're using one hand, in a fire, like if you're sitting that in a fire, it can actually be a little bit difficult on the wrist. So you do need to have uh, like fire gloves where you can reach uh, one end, you know, you're reaching one end and then the little knobby handle and picking it up. This one here I find while it is heavy, the handle can be away from the fire source itself. And so I like that. Now, because these things are connected, the handle and the pan are essentially one piece, um, this handle is gonna get hot, even though it is so far away from, potentially from the heat source. So obviously you do wanna have some kind of hand protection or you are going to burn yourself. So please keep that in mind. The other reason why I like this pan is because it actually has a low profile. It's not thick, like a, it's not high, like a cast iron pan. And the other thing that I really like, this is gonna be the geek in me, I'm sure, but the other thing I really like is just that really unique textured design. Um, you can kind of feel it a little bit uh, as you rub your hands uh, and your fingers over top of that. So as a wow factor, yeah, I really like this pan for sure. Now, if you have an induction oven, um, I am pretty sure that this is going to work on an induction oven as well as a gas hob or a uh, gas oven. So there you go, new pan for you. I will put a link to the website, uh, Petromax uh, website down below. I believe there are four sizes. This is the largest. There's another one that's about eight inches or 10 inches, and it seems like it's a lot lighter and it's a lot smaller. So if you do want to just have a solo camping trip, that small one might be a little bit better for you. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day and see you soon. Peace.